Hi guys, so today we'll be talking about UFO experiences and UFO non-believers. So today we have an interview from me sharing my own experience. There have been a lot of cases here in San Juan High School about UFO stories and we have here Eliana to tell her story. Hi guys, so um, I was in Dixon on the freeway driving with my dad to go meet my mom and there was a lot of cars pulled over on the side of the road so we pulled over as well and it was nighttime and I saw a bright flashing light in the dark and it was going in circles like this about like five times and then it stopped and then it would do it again and then it went like down a little bit and then up again and then after that two minutes went by and it just completely vanished into thin air. Coming up here we have an interview from my own teacher Mr. Sullivan and he will be sharing his UFO experience which is very scary. So here's my UFO sighting uh, story. Uh, it was July 29th of 2019, and uh, about 10:30 at night, I was walking uh, at the top of the hill uh, around uh, from my apartment. It's about a two-mile loop that I do. Sometimes when it's hot, I go out kind of late. But anyway, I was walking about halfway through my walk, and up to the, my right, above these oak trees, I saw what I thought was a drone at first. So I looked up there to see if it was a drone. And then as soon as I kind of got my eye focused on it, uh, the light kind of shifted almost like a laser kind of thing and shot down to, to my left a little bit. But I was still kind of thinking, hey, there's some kids in the trees, the laser pointer or whatever. So I'm looking up there. And then I finally looked down close to me, about 15 yards out in front of me. And there was a series of about maybe five lights that were kind of just hovering there uh, and just kind of floating around. They almost felt like they were like hummingbirds or something like that because they were just kind of floating there, kind of you know, checking me out. And then as soon as I kind of realized what I was seeing, and uh, you know, I'd stopped walking, but they just kind of shot off in the same direction they came from. But again, it looked like a laser-like kind of deal. And then it didn't go off all the way into the distance. It just kind of stopped after like 100 yards. It just kind of disappeared into, I don't know. But it happened really fast. My phone turned off, uh, I was a little stunned but I was able to finish my walk and then come right back to the same spot. And I still go there all the time, but I've never seen anything like that and still think about it all the time. But it was uh, really interesting to see something like that that just doesn't quite fit your normal experience. Next, we have an interview of why UFOs are not believable. Hi, I'm Eliana, and I'm here with Ms. Fischel, a teacher from San Juan. She teaches chemistry, and today she's going to be sharing with us why she believes that UFOs are not real. Okay, so I have a couple of reasons why I think it's impossible to cite genuine UFOs. <clears throat> First of all, UFOs mean they're extraterrestrial life outside, right? Their aliens are sending these um, vehicles our way. Well, first of all, I think that's impossible because um, light speed, the fastest speed any object can travel in space is the speed of light. When you go at the speed of light, you cannot actually leave our solar system and survive to get to another uh, in a reasonable amount of time. So <clears throat> that's why I think it's impossible for an extraterrestrial life to even exist. Second of all, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that theory uh, that that we live in a perfect little spot. Goldilocks. It's called um, uh, theory that our planet is in just the right spot uh, with just the right amount of sunlight and solar energy and also that if and, and then this is because of the what they call a fine-tuning theory if one of the physical constants one of the many physical constants if it's even one billionth of all one billionth of it was, was off then life as we would know it wouldn't even exist so for life to exist as it is it is an absolute miracle and um, if it's by happenstance i really highly doubt that there's another one like this out there so 
I think it's mostly wishful thinking. So if you see an object that cannot be explained, um, you want to believe that maybe it's life from outside, from outer space. I have a feeling maybe it's some sort of other flying objects or sometimes it's really made up. But that, that's, that's just my personal opinion. Thank you.